Confirmation and Eucharist. For those coming into the church, good news cannot be contained. Now the angel coming down to greet the two Marys at the tomb brings them good news. Go quickly, tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead, and he goes to Galilee where you will see him. Overwhelming news, good news. And so they start to go back to the disciples, and Jesus himself appears to them. And he says, go quickly and tell them, and I will meet them in Galilee. And off they go. To proclaim that good news. For each of us gathered here tonight, what gets us excited about the good news of resurrection? What is it? Well, I can't speak for you, but I can tell you what gets me excited about the good news of resurrection. That good news that can't be contained. For me, it's the understanding that I have a share in that. And this calls forth from me a particular joy, a desire to celebrate, to be a part of a worshiping community that's grounded in love. And together we share in the fullness of Easter joy. The measure of our glory is the strength and frequency of the encounters with the risen Lord who dwells within us and among us. And so the good news for us today in response to what we've heard and what we will continue to celebrate is Alleluia, 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 together, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And the community said, Amen. Amen. Amen.